Okay. Good day, Nani. My name is Professor Langa Kumalo, Executive Director of the South African Center for Digital Language Resources. In 2020, the Department of Higher Education and Training promulgated the new language policy framework for public higher education institutions. The policy framework took effect from the 1st of January of 2022. Its stated aim is to promote and strengthen the use of all official languages across all functional domains of public higher education, including scholarship, teaching and learning, as well as wider communication in line with section 29 Subsection 2 of the South African Constitution. This framework is very important for all the public universities. It is also unique in the sense that it does not contain any escape, escape clauses that have enabled institutions to skirt around the effective implementation of such legislative pieces. It also importantly views language as the important vehicle for teaching and learning. Language therefore is an instrument of accessing knowledge. The imperative therefore exists to improve epistemic access it also addresses the attrition, which has become the bane of our higher education institutions by providing knowledge in languages that are easily accessible by the bulk of our students and therefore improving student success. The South African Center for Digital Language Resources working with the University of South Africa, initiated what has become a language resources audit. USAF, working with its community of practice for the teaching and learning of African languages, initiated a three-part vice chancellor's colloquium series. In, 20, in September of 2021, Yusuf, together with Kopal, hosted at Stellenbosch University the first Vice Chancellor's Colloquium. One of the outcomes of the first Vice Chancellor's Colloquium of September 2021 was to arrogate responsibility for Sardila to conduct the language resources audit. The comprehensive language resources audit of all the public universities was in order to establish the resources that currently subsist at all of these universities as the first step towards harnessing a constellation of resources that are required for the successful implementation of the new language policy framework for higher education institutions. Sandila is here today at this university and we are grateful for the university executive management and leadership to give us this opportunity today to actually come in conversation with all the sections of the university that are responsible for the implementation of the university's language policy so that together we can gain an appreciation of what is available at this university towards the implementation successfully of the new language policy framework for higher education institutions. Sadla is working with USAF because of its strategic thrust. One of the things that Sadler is expected to accomplish by way of its vision 
is to stimulate and enable digital research and development in South Africa's 11 official languages. To cultivate and grow the digital humanities scholarship in South Africa and the continent while creating strategic synergies with local and international partners with similar or complementary infrastructure. So Sadila does have a strategic role as a national research infrastructure, a role that sees to harnessing and distribution of the important digital resources that are necessary in the promotion of all the official languages. It therefore became strategic for Sadila to be at the center of the language resources audit so that going forward, the sector can model a solution towards the effective and successful implementation of the new language policy framework for higher education institutions. In order to effectively support the higher education institutions, the audit seeks to come up with a state of the art of what is available by way of specialized terminology that are stored in multimodal um, repositories to assess their, their availability and accessibility, to also assess the availability of language technology uh, that have been developed by various uh, institutions across the sector. These may be grammar or spelling checkers. These may also be corpora, which are big data sets that are processed and stored in a reusable uh, format that can be made accessible to students and lecturers for teaching and learning purposes and even research. And also to urge the level of expertise that is available, which is a precursor to the effective and successful implementation of the new language policy framework for higher education institutions. And finally, also to get a sense of the infrastructure that is devoted to universities towards the implementation of their respective language policies. And these can be divisions that are dedicated to uh, language policy uh, implementation. These can be language centers that are devoted to language development and planning at universities. And also language labs that are for teaching and learning, that are for language development, that are for supporting the infrastructure that the universities do have in order to effectively implement in part their language policies and in effect the new language policy for higher education um, institutions. So today we are here to talk to the management of the university, to talk to the faculty, the lecturers, uh, to talk to the sections of the university that are responsible for language policy and planning and to talk to students to get a sense of all the things that I have you know, iterated above. The results of the uh, language resources audit, uh, in fact, the preliminary results have been already shared uh, at the last vice chancellor's colloquium that took place on the 1st and 2nd of December of 2022. So the final report is going to be tabled at the final vice chancellor's um, colloquium that is going to take place later this year in October, September or October of 2023. And it is hoped that the report, the final report is going to be submitted also at the University of South Africa's uh, board, which comprises of all the vice chancellors. And we are hoping that going forward, the findings of uh, the resources audit is going to be shared with the sector so that universities can model a solution that harnesses the constellation of resources that are 
already available at our universities and share them in such a way that together the universities can effectively be supported to implement the new language policy for higher education institutions. I hope that we are going to have a, a fruitful and engaging conversation with all the stakeholders at this university and that together we are going to get a good sense of the resources that are already uh, subsisting at this university so that together and with this information, we can put together a comprehensive report that is going to enable uh, the sector to develop an effective model for the successful implementation of the language policy and for the, for the objectives of the language policy to be satisfied uh, in the long run. I want again to thank the university and the university leadership for giving us the chance and for hosting this uh, language audit. I thank you.